Well, what's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Going to talk about the Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz matchup. The key to this whole fight is going to be Anthony Joshua's jab. He's got to use his jab and keep uh, Andy Ruiz at a distance. If the fight is fought at a distance, it's going to be uh, Andy, it's going to be Anthony Joshua is going to prevail in this fight. If the fight is fought in close quarters, then it's going to be advantage Andy Ruiz. He's a better inside fighter than AJ. AJ doesn't really have an in, uh, inside fighting game. So that's going to be the key, man. And uh, you, when you look at AJ fights, he uses his jab sometimes, but sometimes he kind of, you know, looks to load up on his punches, man. He's a, a combination puncher, and he, and he likes to throw that uppercut. So he doesn't really use his jab as much as I would like to see him use it, but I think in this fight, I think he's going to have to use this jab. If he doesn't use the jab, uh, and uses his uh, height and his reach advantage over Andy Ruiz, this could be a very, very competitive fight. Andy Ruiz is going to have to actually get inside of uh, uh, of Anthony Joshua. He's going to have to do bob and weave, get inside, go to the body, and get A.J. to bring his hands down. Once A.J. brings his hands down, then he can go up top with his combination punches. So that's going to be the key to the fight, man. Um, uh, A.J.'s got to use his jab. And then when um, Andy Ruiz does decide to uh, maybe take a punch to get, get closer to AJ, AJ's got to make him pay. He's got to make him pay with the uppercut, and he's got to make him pay with the combination punches. But he's got to use that jab to, to throw off uh, Andy Ruiz's rhythm. That's one thing a jab would do. A jab is a, a kryptonite to a pressure fighter. you got a very good jab, you stop me he's a pressure fighter. And that's what Andy Ruiz is going to be looking to do in this fight. He's going to be looking to bring the pressure to AJ, close the distance, go to the body with AJ, and get AJ to bring his hands down and then go up top and land his punches. Andy Ruiz is a, is a faster hand. He's fast, got, got faster hands than AJ. He's a quicker fighter, got faster hands. AJ, I think, uh, got the better jab, like I said. Both guys got good combination punches. But, but I think uh, power. I think power is going to be very interesting. I think AJ probably got the advantage in power, power puncher. I think he's a uh, more powerful puncher, you know. I th but uh, Andy Ruiz has got surprising, very surprising snap power. You know, he's got a lot of snap in his punches. His punches are very, very sharp and very, very fast. And it's, I think he's got surprising power. So I think AJ probably has the advantage in the power, but I don't think he has a huge advantage in power. So it's going to be a very interesting fight. I like uh, Anthony Joshua to win this fight. I think uh, I'm looking at maybe a late stoppage. I don't I don't see a, I don't see maybe a knockout, but I think maybe a TKO. I think he's gonna kind of bust up and bruise up uh, Andy Ruiz with his jab combination punches. And I think uh, Andy Ruiz Kona will probably stop the fight somewhere around 10th or 11th round. But I think it's gonna be a very competitive fight, man. I think Andy Ruiz is gonna have his moments. Like I said, he's gonna uh, he's gonna be going to the body. He's gonna land some shots to AJ because AJ has been tagged in previous fights, Pavekin uh, tagged. Him. Uh, he got tagged in the uh, Takum fight. He got tagged in the uh, Parker fight. You know, he got dropped in the Klitschko fight. So he, his defense is not not that superb. He's you know he's you know he don't have a he don't have Floyd Mayweather type of defense. He don't have a Nord Hawkins type defense. So it should be a, a very very interesting fight. Just my um, two cents on it, man. I like Anthony Joshua, but if Anthony Joshua does not use his jab more than he had done in previous fights, this fight could be a very, very close and competitive fight with a lot of people maybe thinking, maybe go to distance and a lot of people thinking maybe Anna Reeves uh, maybe won that fight. You know, I think if it's close, AJ's obviously going to get the decision because he's the draw, he's the money man in the uh, heavyweight division. And, uh, you know, I think anything close, I think he'll win. But one thing uh, Anthony Joshua might not have that he had uh, that he had in uh, in uh, up in the in the UK is anytime I know anytime fighters, especially in the college to come, fight anytime fighters tried to work inside with AJ, the referee will break him up. Hopefully the referee will not the, the night will not be doing that. Hope the referee will let them uh, fight inside and let them uh, work inside and don't be quick to break the inside fighting up. We'll see what that happens though. They're gonna have a US referee for this fight, so I don't look for that to be a problem like it was in the Call of Tacom fight. So we'll see what happens, man. I like uh, AJ TKO in the 11th round, but he's got to use that jab. He don't use that jab uh, and use it on and, and use it throughout the fight and don't you know don't don't uh, be looking just to load up on punches and, and you know make it more of a uh, gunfight and give Ruiz a chance to maybe catch him with a shot to uh, change change the the uh, change the uh, landscape of the heavyweight division. I think AJ will win this fight. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holla.